This is canned elk meat. Probably sounds gross. I thought it sounded gross. It looks gross, but after a while, if you cook with it and learn to use it, it can be really, really good. I've grown to really love canned elk meat, especially because I'm often very lazy and forget to thaw meat out, and this is just ready to go. I can throw it in these pans, and I'm going to have a dish ready in like 15 minutes. So canned elk meat, going to show you a way to make it taste pretty dang good. Often I just use whatever I have on hand at the time to do this. So what I have on hand today is a red pepper, an onion, some spinach, some green onion, and some naan bread. Pretty simple. This is my lunch today. I'm not putting any sort of uh, oil or grease in this pan just because I kind of like just a nice char on uh, onions and peppers. So that's what we're going with. A little bacon grease up in this pan. Oh yeah. This is just lean meat that I canned. I would usually do like the neck and the shanks. Um, so, there's no seasoning in it. So anyway, tell it was pressurized, that's always a good sign, smells good. Looks gross, but it won't be, I promise. A little salt, cumin, paprika, black pepper, a little onion, a little garlic, maybe a little more than a little garlic. But anyway, the canned meat's already cooked, so really you don't have to do much to it. You're just heating it up and getting like a crisp on it. That's all there is to it. Add our peppers. Get smoky in there. We're just about done. Take this naan, put it in the toaster. Get some green onions ready. For garnish, got a nice char on our peppers and onions. Wilt up the spinach. Naan bread, way better heated up. A little meat, some toppings. Green onion on top. Doesn't look amazing, but you know, super tasty, super quick. A little canned elk meat for lunch. I think if you made this dish and never told anybody, they would never know that it's canned meat.